going on in this body? It's illustrating. Right now, I'm just leaving the mall, but um, this is my first time coming to this mall, actually. This is what, where I was when I raced Ty on that Harley in uh, that Rider Experience video where we flew by this fucking, <laughs> we flew by this fucking mall and there was a cop outside. It was like two cops outside. <laughs> I had to use I had to use the Cena and the GPS to find my way over here. But my Cena died while I was in the in the mall because I left the shit on like a dickhead. My Cena died on me, so I don't have any GPS. And now I gotta find my way back to the Jackie. Because when I'm in Queens, the only thing I'm focused on is getting the fuck out. Let's go around this truck. Bit of a power wheelie there. God damn, he's up his ass. Just gotta go by memory at this point. You know, is anything different about the SV? I'm sure you do. Maybe it's the clip-ons and how they're fucking extremely low. Oh, I have to. Oh, I know where I'm at. I have to make a right, and then I go down that weird, fucking sketchy-ass alleyway. Let's just stop for some subway. I'm fucking starving. Yeah, this is one of those weird-ass Queen streets where they got no lines, but it's a two-way street and it's not wide enough. Because Queens people, they do what the fuck they want, if it makes sense or not. That's a nice house. Uh, 60... Fuck it, we're making a left right here. I think we missed the turn. But yeah, I got the clip on bars because because I actually sold the um the Apex 4 inch riser bars on eBay. Got 100 bucks for them, quick sale. Wasn't really looking to get what I paid, but I wanted to get a little bit back. You know, just before I sell the SV or whatever I plan to do with this fucking bike. Yo, it's like 95 degrees right now. But it actually doesn't feel bad because it's a dry 95. It's not like humid and sweaty. Like, it's 95, but I'm not sweating at all right now. Okay, where the fuck am I? Where the fuck am I? Mr. FedEx. Mr. Toastman. <laughs> but yeah, I sold the handlebars. I put the wood crafts that this bike came with back on. And uh, it's not actually that uncomfortable, to be honest. The bars are definitely closer to me. And uh, it's kind of nice being in this attack position. I'm not used to it because of how long I had those uh, riser bars on it. But um, it doesn't feel that bad. It, it actually feels kind of good because I'm like leaning into the bike. And I got a little bit less power wheelies even though they still kind of happen every now and then. Please don't tell me that's a one-way street. Because I know I need to make a right. Yes. Now, where do I go from here? That's a great question. <laughs> to be honest with you, I'm just trying to do this without actually pulling over and pulling out my phone. Could easily do that, but... Um, bu 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 okay, let's go straight. Okay, I remember that bridge. Okay, we're on the right track. I definitely remember taking that bridge. So this is 80th. Then once I get towards that way, I have to make a right, and then that's the Jackie. Or do I make a left? All I know is that when I get towards that street, I'll hit Myrtle at the end over there, and then I just have to make life decisions. I like to make noise. Yep, Myrtle, just like I said. Now, Jackie Robinson, Parkway. I actually saw some really nice rolls when I got off the Jackie. I might just take those fake twisties. Let's see what that, all right, okay. All upon me. I don't think I'm gonna sunburn, but I'm definitely getting tan. <laughs> but I remember when I was taking the MSF course, I actually sunburned on the nose. And from that day, my black card was in question. As a black person who got sunburned, I started fucking thinking about my whole life. Like, like what the hell? What is this? I, at first I was like, what the shit? I've never been sunburned before. Well, let's just have a little bit of fun.
<laughs> I had a patch of sand just now. But yeah, so uh, the reason why I'm not like up making too many specific updates in terms of me getting this new bike is because the plan changes. So from what I said last time, the plan has already changed. Um, like I'm, I'm getting a new bike. That's not what I mean. What I'm saying is that the bike that I was, that I had in mind that I was talking about, the plan has already changed since then. Yo, watch the instant talk on this thing, man. But yeah, so like the, I've made different moves, you know, trying to amend the plan. But those plans even went wrong. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So like, I'm not trying to like lay out everything on the table until I make a solid move. And then it's just like, okay, this is the plan, stepping forward. And then maybe I'll consider, like, you know, dropping subs and shit. But yeah, I'm not gonna, like, be extremely specific about shit when shit changes constantly, you know? It's not a good idea. Should I hit up Bushwick or Atlantic? I don't know. I got a plan now, and I'm working on that plan. I actually tried selling this bike, but I ran into some hurdles. It's mainly just cause like all the problems. Um, and then it's just like the fucking shady characters that be on Craigslist trying to buy a bike or whatever the case may be. You know, just overall fucking flakes that be on there. But I just like, I don't feel like dealing with all of that. So as you guys know, I just started my new job. My first day is tomorrow. I just been handling a bunch of like bullshit that they need me to run around to handle. I put out that video last week. They still got me running around doing this shit. So the plan is to go check out a bike on Thursday because dealership is closed on Wednesday and uh, tomorrow. For, so for the 3rd and the 4th of July. Speaking of which, you guys can see how hard I'm squidding. See that? Yeah. Stars and bars, baby. Ain't nothing wrong with fucking stand up for your damn country. I got freedom and I'm gonna wear them on my feet. <laughs> yes! Skirt. As you know, like I said, I start, I'm starting my new job, so I need the bike now. Like, I can't sell it. The sweet spot for selling the bike was last week, which I tried. But as I said, I ran into a bunch of hurdles, which I don't, I don't really feel like getting into right now. You know, it's just, it, it makes me fucking mad just thinking about it. So I'll tell you about that later. I'll tell you about that later, maybe um, closer to when I actually get my bike or when like the plan is actually in motion. But yeah, as I said, I gotta hold on to the SV now. It would have been good to sell it at that point, but okay, what is this man doing? Why did you go all the way to the left to go all the way to the right? my dude i'm gonna i'm gonna start writing a new script for another voiceover video it's gonna be a nice and long one i want to you know make up for the gap in, in the voiceover videos um because i've been putting out like straight vlogs lately but i know that's the other aspect of my channel that i need to continue flushing out what if the drag strip is open for business this thing pulls like a fucking train skirt <laughs> yo turns out that right there is actually a bike shop i had no idea like that's a junkyard and also a bike shop they got parts but they also sell bikes too it's called chaotic auto parts and motorcycle repair but until next time you just got lost in queens with the illustrator you just hit up the fake twisties with the illustrator and now you're about to ride past the police precinct with the illustrator <laughs> i'll see you guys on the next one peace out